was asked to give a podcast this weekend as I've uh, organised some friends to come around to swap the carburetor for some EFI. And that means quite a bit of fun. So the first thing that's going to happen tonight is the wideband's going to get installed, the mechanical fuel pump, you can see it in the dark, which you can't, is going to be replaced with the electric fuel pump sitting there on the roof, just a low pressure one to verify the wiring and that everything works. And then it'll be time to rip all of that stuff out and start putting the EFI stuff in. So that's uh, the inaugural introduction to the EFI The Hotel Project. Thank you for listening. Stay tuned for part two. Fuck off! <laughs> this is the beginning of, <laughs> of the uh, inaugural Free MS podcast. On the right is Cam, on the left is Ned. <laughs> He's very polite, as you can see. Uh, this is me, as per usual. Uh, we're at the point where we're about to bolt the EFI manifold on. We've got this all very nice and clean and surfaced and ready to go. It was dark as you can tell. Uh, it's it's quite dark. Down. That's darkness up there. Um, and, and some trees in the dark over there. And back to the engine bay, which is well lit. So, um, we've done pretty well. I think we've got new hoses for the heater lines because they were pretty uh, fucked and we've got a fuel system coming together thanks to Cam, an electrical system to power the injectors and the fuel pump coming together thanks to Ned. Uh, yeah. And I did the surfacing, which took ages because that gasket was harder than titanium. And I think we'll cut now and wait for a more interesting... Look, here's some action going. The fuel pump. Ah, oh, look at that insertion. Oh, look at that insertion. <laughs> so it's uh, adios from FreeMS HQ. Until next time. Bye. Now half past midnight, and we're just installing the last of the wiring. That is the uh, injector resistors. Cam and Nan are both still on the job, faithful as ever. Uh, passenger compartment looks like a complete mess. Wires going everywhere. Uh, I just need to do some configuration for the software, and it should be able to be fired up, which is kind of scary. I guess we'll see what happens. Fingers crossed, no leaks. We're about to try and fire up the hotel on the EFI for the first time ever. It could be a disaster or it could run nicely. I don't know. And the choke cable is doing absolutely nothing. Force of habit. the hotel with fuel injection. Excuse the rough start, but notice the smooth idle. Got a long way to go, but probably running enough to drive. At least I'm about to find out, because we need some food. No, no, everything's done except for one thing.
So here I am, sitting down by the river. I've been driving this car every day for three months. Most of that's been with the fuel injection. And I've done a little bit of tuning, maybe a couple of hours tops. And this is how it starts. Which is pretty nice. And that's the end of the hotel fuel injection installation special. Thanks for watching.